Love's light greetings, gratitude, blessings and blessings, Ascension Star Family, my divinity to yours. Welcome if you're new, and welcome back if you're returning. Thank you for your love light support, appreciation, participation, your likes, your shares, your hearty comments, and your generosity. Importantly, thank you for our united light. Individually, collectively, remotely, intentionally, passionately, from all over the world. As we armor with divine spirit, the boots on the ground, the human angels, switching our personal light on, upgrading our energetic fields to align with the cosmic heart for the purpose the passion of unconditional love as we shift uplift the planet and all her inhabitants to paradise spirit thanks you salutes you applauds you and holds you near and dear as together we all steer in the right gear. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spirit Divine, I welcome you to grace our embrace with your love light, your healing, your compassion, your understanding, your energy, your protection, divine connection over myself, our ascension portal and our star family as we join hearts, heads, hands wholesomely in your oneness. Thank you. We also welcome the energy and spirit of Thomas Kingston as we move into part three of the reading. Welcome, Thomas. Thank you. 9-7-2024-9-7-8-24 equals 6. It's a great pause. A sadness. A feeling of despair, emptiness. His energy feels as if the world is forgotten. Doesn't remember. So much truth needs to come to light, but it is all being put aside, put away, as if it didn't exist, it didn't happen. Seven of Wands. It says he was pushed around he was handled very badly. By the last three that were standing. Of the four, at the time of his demise, there were three, including him, his four. This person, he says, was the fourth person, being the first person as the mastermind. Again, presented to the world. 
21 becomes 3. A different energy, a different feeling, a shock to his world, a shock to the world. Snakes. The hidden snakes. Money. The last three cents standing. There's the snakes, he says. That ended him. And he says, I have revealed one of them. I'm using the same deck because I was asked to use the same deck. Right? The darkness, the vampire. This is like a pirate ship. But it's not. But he gives me the impression of the darkness surrounding the movement. This happened late. After dark. All right, I want you to please reveal to me. Now that we have determined, allegedly, through your indication by a spirit, that it did not happen at the residence that it was reported to have been discovered, your vessel, your body. So I am asking, is it the truth that it was reported that you passed on the 25th of February. Because for some reason, I feel that is incorrect. So tell us, was the 25th the actual day, the real day of your death? Is that the truth? It was announced, I think, a day or two later, on the 27th, the 26th, the 25th, was reported as your death day. Seven of Swords, deception. That was changed, it's not true. It's not true. It's incorrect. It's deception. It's lies. See, it happened at night. When we say at night, after sunset, when it was darkness. So I'm not sure at what time of the night. All right. So that is incorrect. Tell us more. Reveal more on the actual date of your passing. Two. Two. Yes, to, to what? This is not relevant to the reading, but he says to show you that it did happen late at night. I'm not sure if there was a full moon at that time. Um, the date of the full moon in February, I'll have to go back and look, but it is significant. So we've got a two. Yes, the 20, the two and the seven was when he says they announced it to the world, 27. 
months, okay? So when did it happen? When did it actually happen? Give us an indication. I just saw 10, 10 and 10, 11 as the time. All right, the mastermind, king of cups. So he's revealing the mastermind because that's my next question. Can you give us an indication of who the mastermind is? So it's the king of cups. Magician. All right, so he he put this together. The King of Cups. All right. Rules, regulations, sign on the dotted line, get your payment. This is what I need done. So my second question is answered already. Page of Cups. This Page of Cups has come out before. He says, keep it there. Nine of Swords. Knight of Coins. Keep it down. These are all the the recruit the recruitment team. The ones that had to do the er run the errands. The, the page of cups, the knight of coins, the ones that had to get it going. For the late at night. Can you tell us more, please. King of Coins, right? There's the payment. Payment they were promised for a job well done. A judgment on him. All right, there's another Knight of Cups. The Ten of Swords. The Empress. Queen of Coins. Catherine, who's now ascended with the star. Right, these are all the clues he's giving us. So this is the recruitment team that were paid handsomely. star try to well this is the ascension right to take him out okay so it goes here they were paid handsomely to take him out right seven of cups there's a lot of confusion surrounding his the details and truth about his death So tell us what's going on. Two of coins, right. The first two and this two 
is 22. So, he says look for information. 22 is the date of his birth. 22, 6. Hmm, he's in my right ear. He died on the 22nd of February. That is the real date. Not the 25th, he says. Hold on, I want to work this out quickly. 2202-2024-428-14 equals 5. Do you know what's interesting about this? There are five twos in a row. 22 zero two twenty twenty four there are all ze all twos except for the two zeros and the four in that entire line there are five twos and we've got two twenty two in the day of death and the date of of birth how interesting and what he says, if I say, if I go on further to say to him, the, that's the 22s, the two twos of the five twos, right? It's very confusing. But it leaves us with three twos which is the two of the month and the two twos in the 2024 and those twos is three times so three times two gives you six and that's the month of his birth so if the entire row adds to his 2206 in his month and date and of course if you drop 20 out of the 2024 20, and add the 2 and 4 that gives you a 6 as well so it's all leading back so he says it's 22 he died on 22nd oh dear this gets deeper and deeper All right, a little bit more, please. I just saw 1822 on the clock. That's the 22, he confirms. He died on the 22nd. So, can you indicate clearly a gun was found close to your body? Is that how you died? nine of wands it was perceived to be uh, that type of death it's it's what you're led to believe there's so many nines here but it was not he says that's not how he died. He didn't die with a gunshot wound or a traumatic wound. He died by strangulation or suffocation. Three of wands, three of swords. The last three people finished him off. 33. The last three people were present, he says, and two, two, 
two finished him off. The one was watching. Right, so he says the one was watching, although three were present, but one was watching while the other two did that. devil hmm it did flip though okay all right so this is what he's saying yeah the one that was watching is the devil he's already spoken about who this person is in the previous reading right and that is the person that was watching but he was present he was one of the three one of the three um that was part of this he was watching. But of course he also tackled him, right? He says he also tackled him. He was part of the of the fight, of the tug of war, but he didn't get the job done. The world card back out. Oh, this is what he's showing us. Oh, I'm using the wrong thing, sorry. Um he was held up against. He was pushed up against. He was defenseless. He was defenseless. He's showing me the skulls. He said this is normal play for them. This is what they often do. People are taken out very often. And things get shelved, buried, hidden. All right, give me one more before we close. Queen of Wands. Interesting. I am placing it right next to the devil. And this was the pair in the previous reading. So this is Anne. He talks about Anne again. All right, so she's here. Queen of Coins, Catherine, that place was reserved for her. He still goes back to Catherine and he still goes back to Anne. The King of Cups and Catherine are here and we have the Devil and the Queen of Wands. And these are the couples. These are the strong links of what was taking place. So we have realized here who the mastermind is, confirming one of the players. And this had to do with Catherine. Not entirely, but majority. Thank you. Thank you, Kingston. Thank you, Thomas. 
I find it odd to call him Thomas. I keep referring to him as Pinkston. I'm going to leave it here. Because we've made a lot of progress. I'm not sure if he's going to want to go on into any further readings. I I would like to know more about the King of Cups but maybe we'll leave it for another read because we can't keep the spirit here too long either beautiful hearts allegedly right allegedly I'm giving you what is being shown to me, given to me, and of course through the cards, for your understanding, for the illustration. And there's a pattern forming. There's a pattern forming. It's no coincidence that the devil card is followed by the Queen of Wands. It's no coincidence. And it all leads back to a King of Cups and a Queen of Coins. I love you, I bless you, I thank you, till next. <laughs>